Hello everybody. In the last class, we had uh, seen how Moore, Moore model and Milli model are uh, defined and what are the relative advantage, disadvantage. Uh, then we picked up one specific uh, problem statement and we tried to solve that problem using both Milli model and Moore model and in the process we understood uh, their relative uh, strength and weaknesses. And uh, in this particular class, so we shall uh, move ahead with that problem statement and we would like to see how the circuit uh, is finally realized and we shall uh, look into another part of the comparison that uh, for the same problem statement, the circuit that we get from uh, Moore model and the circuit we get from Milli model, how do they compare in terms of complexity. Okay? So, we continue with the problem, you are aware of that problem, the problem was that of uh, detecting a sequence from a binary data stream okay? and the sequence to be detected was 1, 1, 0. Okay? This we remember right? and for that the Moore model we had the circuit, uh, we, we had the state transition diagram uh, something like this and the four states were defined in this manner that A uh, that is the initial state no bit is uh, detected uh, properly, b 1 bit is detected, okay. c was 2 bit detected and properly and d was all 3 bits have been detected properly. Okay. So, that is what we had uh, defined in terms of the states right? and we had seen that when it is at a, uh, 0 is there. So, basically it is remaining at 0, 1 it is going to b again at B when it receives a 1 it goes to C that means 2 bits are properly detected and then when it is receiving a 0 it goes to D 3 bits are properly detected and it is a Moore model. So, output is uh, generated uh, solely from the state value. So, uh, at D uh, the output is uh, shown and uh, the rest of the cases other options uh, other than this different sequences they are uh, they are in the other uh, path that you see in the state transition diagram. Okay. So, this we have discussed uh, in detail in the previous class. Okay. So, you can refer to that. Now, uh, we need to see how the circuit is uh, realized. So, for that we need to do uh, a state assignment because states we have mentioned in terms of A, B, C, D. Right? Now, we have to uh, refer to it in terms of the memory elements. So, we shall be using flip flops. So, in terms of the flip flop values, right. So, how many flip flops will be required? So, there are 4 states, right. So, from this formula that ceiling log n to the base uh, 2, where n is the number of states in the state transition diagram. So, by which we can see that 2 flip flops will be required, okay, right. Ceiling means if it is a fraction, it will be taken to the next higher. Uh, integer. Okay. So, if it is 1.2, it will be 2, okay. 2.3, it will be 3. So, that is the meaning of uh, this particular uh, uh, operator. Okay. Now, uh, so this 4 states, so A, B, C, D, D they need to be associated with uh, 2 flip flops, 4 different values. Okay. So, one option is the standard one, A, the first one it is coming, so 0, 0, B is 0, 1. C is 1 0, D is 1 1. Okay. This is the way you can do, uh, do the assignment and then uh, move ahead with the circuit realizations. Right? Uh, but uh, there could be alternate way of doing things also right? and uh, which one will give a uh, simpler circuit, less complex circuit in the sense that less amount of combinatorial uh, you know hardware and all number of flip flops remains the same. Okay. So, that is uh, something uh, cannot be told in advance okay? that need to be worked out and see uh, because one uh, more assignment could be that only one flip flop uh, you know A, B, C, D it is there. So, only one value, one flip flop value changes as we move from A, B, C, D. Okay? So, that could be one thing. So, only one flip flop value changes. So, uh, we can uh, guess that the requirement for changing and the complexity uh, related to uh, uh, this uh, uh, com uh, combinatorial circuit, they may be less. Okay? 
So in that sense we can assign 0 0 then b is 0 1 only one value is changing c is 1 1 and then d is 1 0 ok and from d if it goes to a it is again is going to 0 0. So in that sense uh, that could be another way of assigning it but one need to be careful what I have shown here that you can see from d it is going to ok b as well as a. So in this assignment when it is going from d to a 1 0 is changing to 0 0 so on value but from d when it is going to b so 1 0 is changing to 0 1 so to the both the values are changing ok. So these, these are the things because of the interconnection so that is why I said that uh, you need to uh, you know uh, see it uh, in detail and many different things are there otherwise uh, we can move ahead with any one of them uh, and uh, realize the circuit which will work ok. So uh, we consider uh, the first one ok but you can try as an exercise uh, uh, that how it would look how the circuit will be uh, you know uh, appear appeared uh, then uh, with this uh, assignment ok so that you can take as an exercise. So after that what do you do once the assignment is done so the state transition diagram now we can present in this manner ok so 0 0 right then 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 ok and let us consider we are using jk flip flop for its realization. So then we shall invoke we shall uh, figure out what is the jk flip flop excitation table from our earlier class we know that jk flip flop excitation table is this one. So 0 to 0 transition 0 x 0 cross that means 0 case can be 0 or 1 any value right for 0 to 1 1 cross 1 0 cross 1 and 1 1 cross 0 ok. So this cross here is do not care that means any of uh, 0 or 1 will do is it fine this we all know right. So uh, then uh, if we move ahead so if we try to see it we go to the state table right. So this is the present state ok and now the input is here so you have to consider present input as well. Right. If you have seen that synthesis of counter, counter design problem, there we did not consider the input. Right. So, it was moving from one state to another with the uh, clock uh, getting triggered. Okay. And the next state okay, and the output, output will be generated solely from this present state values. Right. And for this there are two flip flops, so the corresponding flip flop input. So, these are the different uh, you know columns of the state table, is it fine? So, for 0 0, so 0 0, so we are showing it in one block right, uh, the current state. So, input can be 0 or input can be 1, is it fine right. And in that case for 0, next state is what 0 0 only from the state transition diagram you can see 0 0 right ok. And for uh, 1 it is the next value that is 0 1, we have already done the assignment earlier it was A and B. So, now it is 0 0 and 0 1. So, this is 0 1. Okay. So, if it is 0 1 then uh, there could be two possibilities 0 and 1 for the input 0 1 with 0 it goes to 0 0 with 1 it goes to 1 0 right. With 1 0 this one again two possibilities with 0 okay, it goes to 1 1 right and with 1 it remains at this place. So, this is at 1 0 fine. And finally, for 0 1 sorry finally, for 1 1 right. So, we are here for 0 it goes to 0 0 and 1 it goes to 0 1 is it fine. So, once we are, we are done with this then the rest is to take um, uh, help of this excitation table and for each of this transition B n to B n plus 1 and A n to N plus 1 write down the corresponding j b k b and j k the input that are required at the at respective flip flops is it ok. So, 0 to 0, 0 cross sorry 0 to 0 this is 0 cross 0 to 0 again 0 cross 0 to 0 again 0 cross and 0 to 1 ok 0 to 1 we know this is 1 cross. So, this way you can complete it is it fine right. So, this is that column 
Now, what about uh, the other thing? So, this is your a n to a n plus 1 that we have to consider. So, 0 to 0, 0 cross 0 to this is 1, 1 cross we have already seen 0 to 1, then 1 to 0, 1 to 0, this is 1 to 0, this is cross 1, right. So, this is cross 1, okay. So, that is the way it will uh, proceed. Is it fine? Right. So, this is the this particular column that also you get. So, what is left now? This output, how we fill up this particular output. So, since it is uh, Moore model, right, output is always generated from the state, does not depend on the input. Okay. So, irrespective of the value of the input, so basically input is a kind of do not care in this condition. So, you do not bother, it will be totally derived from the state value. Okay. So, when it is at state 0, 0, okay, for either of these options, the output is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, it is 0. And when it is at 1, 1, okay, current state, then the current output is 1, 1. So, that is what you see over here. Is it fine? So, with this, we are able to complete state assignment, then corresponding state transition diagram with assigned state values. Okay, in terms of flip flops, then state table using the help of excitation table. So, next step uh, will be as we had done in the past is to get the uh, corresponding this uh, simplified relationship for uh, these two flip flops. Okay. So, those are the design equations, right. So, that you can get. So, what we need to do? We need to just map it. Right. So, three variables are there the current state and the current input right? and what will be the current input current input means input bit that is coming from here. So, this current input for the flip flop for which the next state is defined. Okay. So, in a particular manner as far as the state transition diagram is concerned. Okay. So, in that way we are just mapping it from the state table over here and once we do that right for j b once we map it in this manner if you just for example, we take up 1 and the rest can be. Uh, so, for j b 0 0 0 1 cross 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 is it. Okay. So, let us look at it. Okay. So, this is uh, 0 0. So, 0 0 0 1 okay, cross 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 cross. Okay. 0 0 then we had gone in this direction for, for 0 0 this was the 0 1 for x uh, 0 value and x 1 value. So, this is 0 0 0 1 cross cross and this is cross cross. Right. So, similarly you will be mapping the other things and then you will be getting the largest group of you know in integer power of 2 all those things you know the Carnot map simplification. So, by this you get this four equations. Right. And in this case what you get? In this case, you do not need the consideration of for x because it is solely derived from uh, state value. So, state values are like this a n and b n, right. If you put together when both of them are 1, it is 1. So, y is equal to a n b n, is it fine? So, with these design equations in hand, okay, we move to uh, implement the circuit, right. So, these are the equations that has been. Uh, taken from the previous slide over here, right. So, these are the two flip flops J A uh, and K A are the inputs for flip flop A, J B K B for flip flop B, right. And you can see this is your input X is the clock synchronized uh, synchronous circuit, clock is get uh, you know triggering both the flip flops simultaneously. So, J B is X A N. So, just to verify some of this uh, thing. So, J B J B is this one, right. So, X A N. So, this is your a n over here and this is your x. So, you can see that x is coming coming like this, this is the connection and this is the other one. So, this is your x a n and k b is a n. So, k b is a n, you can see that k b is a n. j is x bar b n plus x b x b bar, uh, b n bar. So, j b sorry that is j. So, that is your j. So, you can see that x bar. So, this is your x bar right? and 
this is your B n. So, this input this is your x bar x bar and this is your B n and this input is your x and this input is it is coming from here you can see it is B n. So, that is j right k is x bar plus B n bar. Okay. So, this is the OR gate. So, x bar is here and B n bar is coming from here. So, you can see the feedback right and finally, your y is equal to a n b n right. So, this is y. So, b n is here and a n is here right. So, once the equations are there design equations are there even if it looks little bit complex we are in a position to get the corresponding circuit is it fine right. So, this is Moore model based circuit for that 110 detection. Now, we go to the a milli model uh, based uh, state transition diagram and its realization. Right? Now, one thing that we notice first that number of states are 3 okay? because when 2 bits are received correctly okay, 1 and 1 then if 0 is received okay, in that same clock cycle we can generate the output. Okay? So, that is the thing right? that is the milli model it can uh, give the output based on current state as well as the current input. Okay, so, that we discussed in the previous class. So, that is how it looks like this. right? So, that is why 3 states are sufficient right? for this problem. So, this uh, 3 states uh, then how many flip flops will be required? Of course, 2 flip flops will be required that uh, because of this uh, operator. Okay, it is uh, 1 flip flop with 1 flip flop you can have 2 states only. Okay, so, 3 states are there. So, state assignment so, let us do it this way a is 0 0, 0 1 and 1 0. Okay. So, again for state 0 0 2 possibilities 0 and 1, 0 1 2 possibilities 0 and 1 and 1 1 2 possibilities 0 0 and 1. Right? And accordingly the state changes are taking place similar to just more model. Right? So, 0 0 T y we had prepared the state table. So, 0 0 it is 0 0, 0 0 it is 0 1 for 1 here, 0 1, 0 1 it is going to for 0 it is going back here. So, 0 0 this is going to 1 0 for 1 0 if it is 0 is received. Okay. So, 1 is the output you can see the corresponding output is 1 right? and next state is 0 0 and 1 0 it is 1 0. Okay. So, present input now the difference that when it is at 1 0 this is C 1 0 right? when it is at 1 0 if it receives 0. Okay, it is 1 and if it is receives 1 it is 0. Okay. So, under this condition only the input a, a output is 1. So, this is the difference right? and uh, uh, the way we had filled up the uh, J, uh, j k flip flop input uh, columns in Moore model the same thing we will do by using the uh, j k flip flop excitation table. So, that has been shown here okay? and you can do it yourself also. Right. So, what is the other difference that you can see compared to Moore model based uh, state table other than uh, this x uh, is contributing to y generation other than that what you can notice that one pair of column is missing okay. that is 1 1 is not there right? because state d is not uh, available or not required. Okay. Now, how does it help in uh, circuit realization? Does it help in any way uh, to reduce the complexity? So, let us see. So, this we have noted right? and again we uh, note down one particular case like say this one j b k b is 0 0 0 1 cross cross. Okay. Uh, so, that we had seen before that j b was also cross cross here. So, we will not be able to. Uh, uh, so, other cases uh, cross 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 1 0. Okay. So, uh, let us see one such case where we had this one okay, k b cross 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 0 0 1 1. Right. So, now we need in this particular case k b. So, we have in this particular case uh, just by comparison so, this one j a we are talking about 0 1 cross cross 1 0 then there was cross uh, 1 1 sorry k b 
cross 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 0 0 1 1 ok. okay. So, here it is different because it is going from 0 0 to uh, uh, 1 0 to 0 0. Okay. So, that is why it is cross 1. So, what you can see now for this uh, k b right over here. So, this 1 1 earlier it was 1 1 right, but here you can see that this is cross cross for k b it was 0 0 because the state change was different. So, that is another aspect of it, but this 1 1 okay, was not cross cross was 1 1 right. For j, uh, j b it was cross cross because of the way the next state values were there, but at least over here you can see that 1 1 is not there it is cross cross okay, because 1 1 is not coming this state d is not coming into picture right. So, similarly over here similarly over here right. So, for which you do not have any uh, requirement as was the case in the other uh, uh, Moore model based realization. So, if there was a 1 here that 1 need to be covered. Okay. So, since it is not uh, there, so you do not need to cover it. So, that way you can see the final equations that you get are simpler than the one that you had uh, seen in case of Moore model. Right. So, uh, because of which you will be having at least for this part a relatively simpler circuit, is not it. Okay. But one thing that we note here that there only two such variable were there, now we have got three variable coming into place. Okay. But even if three variables are there, the circuit that you have is the logic is earlier it was n b n, now it is x bar b n. So, that way it is not making too much difference. Okay. Uh, so, and x for other reasons uh, there is x bar is always getting generated because of the not get. Okay. So, even if it is not getting generated, then only one additional not get is required other than uh, what uh, we had seen uh, before uh, the and get required for the mode model. Okay. So, so this is minimal even if something because of this additional variable that is there, but in the other cases you can see that there is a relatively uh, 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 you know uh, less complex uh, design equations that we get uh, because of uh, the state d uh, not being present here in the Mealy model. Okay. So, with these equations uh, now you can see these are the equations right and uh, in the other case if you remember for j it was x, bar, x b n bar plus uh, x bar b n some such thing is not it right. So, you can see that all those things have uh, got uh, you know uh, simplified I mean more simple. Okay. So, this is the uh, for the same problem you have got a mealy model based circuit like this. So, usually because of uh, you know less number of uh, states uh, being you know there and uh, possibility of having do not care and all. So, you can see you can expect that more uh, you know complex circuit will be for Moore model and less complex for Mealy model is it fine. So, before we end uh, we would like to uh, extend this thing on the complexity part, but by uh, being uh, bringing another example which is in a sense extension of the previous example. So, we shall have a also a practice of uh, you know developing Mealy model mood model. Uh, so, let us see. So, this is uh, a, a sequence detector problem only as I said extension, but it is now what we want uh, to be detected is 1 1 0 1. Okay. Earlier it was only 1 1 0, so one more bit has been added. So, whenever these 4 bits 1 1 0 1 is found to be present in the input uh, data stream, we say that the sequence uh, the that sequence you are looking for that has been uh, there. Okay. And the other thing what has been mentioned here that overlap is allowed allowed. Okay. So, what does it mean after 1 1 0 1. Okay. If it is non overlapping that means, you need another 1 1 0 1. Okay. And if it is overlapping that means, after 1 1 0 1 again if you get a 1 0 1 this one is getting included. So, that is the overlap. So, then also you will say here there will be 
one output again here there will be a one output when you are over here. Okay. So, that means, if it is overlap type then final bit or bits of a sequence can be start bits of next sequence. Okay. So, that is the thing. So, let us see if such is the case how it would uh, work out. Okay. So, we start with a milli model. Okay. The same thing that we the way we have defined. So, A means no bit has been detected properly B 1 bit C 2 bits and 3 uh, D 3 bits. Now, we need 3 bits because uh, 4 bit is to be detected. So, when you are at uh, uh, D that means, 3, bit, 3 bits have been uh, detected properly okay. then based on the input you take a decision. Okay. So, that is the requirement. So, uh, at A so, initial part will be similar to what we had uh, in the previous case because it is 1 1 0 the first 3 right. So, A uh, 0 is received it is staying here A uh, 1 is received it is going to B because it is 1 bit properly detected. So, it receives another one second bit properly de detected it comes to C. Okay. But after uh, 1 if 0 comes then again you have to restart up. Okay. So, that is why for 0 it is going back to A. right? Then uh, at C if you receive a 0 that means 1 1 0, 1 1 0 has been received. So, you come to that is 3 bit correctly received. So, you come to D right and if you receive a 1 here you stay at C because after 1 1 you can uh, if you get a 1 again if, if you get a 0 then you are doing right that is you are going right in the uh, uh, you know detecting the sequence. So, you are staying here at C. Okay. Now, when you are at D okay, 1 1 0 then if you receive a 0 what happens okay, you have to restart the entire thing is not it. So, that means, again you need to look for 1 1 0 in the incoming part incoming bit stream. Okay. So, that is what has been shown here, but if you are d at d it is 1 1 0 and you receive a 1 okay, then mean it is correctly detected. right? So, the output will be 1 that is what has been shown here. Now, when this output is 1 after that where, where the circuit should go? Okay. The circuit should go to a state which says that 1 bit is already detected properly because after that if you get 1 0 1 which is then that is you are doing right okay, because of this overlapping. So, after d with a 1 it go, is going to b is it fine. So, this is your milli model based circuit. So, 4 states are required. Now, what happens to Moore model based circuit right. So, up to 4 state for 3, uh, 3 bits detected now you need another state okay, which is 4 bits detected because the decision is taken from the state value only unless it reaches E that is means 4 bits properly detected it cannot generate the output. Okay. So, uh, then uh, if you quickly follow. So, it is going A, B, C, D, O, you have seen before right. When it is at D, okay, if it receives 1 it goes to the fifth state that is E and if it receives 0 it goes to A because of the same reason the way we have said the you know uh, bit uh, pattern unfolds okay. and when it is at uh, E, okay, then it is at E means it has received 1 0 1 1. Okay. This is already received. Now, when it is at E, it can receive a 0 or 1. If it is receiving 0, then it has to restart that we know. But if it receives a 1, okay, what does it mean? What does it mean? Right. That 2 bits are properly detected please understand this part. One zero, it is at E means it is already 1 0 1 1. Right? Then it is receiving a 1. So, that means, 2 bits are properly detected. If you receive another 0 1 then the sequence is there. Okay? So, 2 bits properly detected is your C. So, it is going to C. Is it okay? This part is understood. Okay. Why? Where it is going to be? It is going to C. Right? Because after D that means, it is C it is it has before that it has received only 0 here at E means it is it has received 1 after that it is receiving 1. So, 2 1s are there 
Okay. So, and it is overlapping. Is it clear? Right. So, the other thing that you can see that there are five states. Okay. And here are four states. So, number of flip flops required will be again by that formula here it will be two flip flops will do, but here two flip flops will not do, you will be requiring three flip flops. So, it is not only the commutatorial logic circuit, the uh, there could be a, 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 a there could be cases where the number of flip flops memory elements also need to be more when you compare uh, you know Mealy model and Mohr model. Okay. So, this usually uh, happens in situations like this when you are just moving from one a particular case uh, like 4, 2, 5, so at the junctions. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, on this particular slide, uh, if you are uh, using those uh, conversion formula, conversion rules, okay, Mealy model to Moore model and all okay, that we had discussed in the last class. So, which one here, I mean uh, need to be split because it is for other cases it is okay, every other case is fine. So, you can see that uh, for that finding that candidate, we have to see that a particular state at the input of which there are outputs 0 as well as 1. If it is only 0, there is no issue, we can absorb that 0 or 1 okay, within that particular state. right? So, for example, say B, okay, uh, here this input is output is 0 and this output is 1. So, the B need to be split. Okay? B need to be split. So, one B remains here like this, another B becomes E. Okay? You can employ that rule and you can see for yourself as an exercise the way we had done for one example there in the last class for 3B detection. The same thing over here, you can see that if you split, it will be uh, B and E will be coming here right? and the rest of the cases are fine. Okay? For example, say A this is 0 and this is also 0. So, you can put a 0 inside. So, none of the other cases there is any such issue only for B there is the issue and if you uh, just need to follow the conversion rule and you can do it and you can come from this side to that side also I mean Moore model to Mealy model also. Okay? Whenever you see that from a particular place uh, you are having a zeros and 1s. Okay? Right? So, to conclude, so we have seen that the uh, to move from the state transition diagram to uh, a particular circuit using Moore model, uh, Moore model and Mealy model, and uh, this is a finite state circuit or finite state machine. So, often it is called Moore machine and Mealy machine. Okay. So, number of flip flops required will be uh, defined by the uh, number of states that is uh, there. So, it is log to n, the ceiling of log to n. Okay. And assignment stay of states uh, is uh, something by which one can get uh, two different realization of the circuit. Okay, uh, I mean, if you have two different assignment, two different realization, and one may be simpler than the other. Okay, and uh, from uh, after the assignment, you are going for state table using the excitation table of uh, the flip flops with which you are trying to realize the circuit. We have seen the example of JK flip flop. We could have used. Uh, S R T D okay, and uh, corresponding excitation table would have been used. Okay. Uh, Mealy model we have seen because of uh, the possibility having of having more uh, do not care states, the uh, commutatorial circuit the uh, that complexity may be less and also the number of flip flop required may be less in uh, in certain cases. Okay. But uh, what we have seen that uh, we have noted from the last class also that the input is connected to the output logic uh, circuit, the commutator logic circuit. So, any change in the input directly passes to the output. Okay? Thank you.